Hi guys, welcome to Hortonville. Come on in, I'll show you my classroom. So I can do this, so I want, you got check two. So what I need from you guys. I've taught in this building for two years, but I've been in the district going on eight years. What I had been seeing is they had been putting kids back into LA classes that had failed the same class the previous year, and they were putting those, these kids back in with the same exact teacher, expecting this kid to achieve success the second time around. Well, I find that here in Elizabeth that it is actually really important because we don't have other options for schooling. A lot of students don't drive. They're catching buses. We're 30 minutes from all other schools. So this is really the only location that we have to capture all of the students in one. So if we don't have different program options, I feel like we lose a lot of students. So I was driving to school one day and I get all my like, brilliant ideas. I had this epiphany. Why don't I, why don't I suggest that we take all these kids that have failed um, these courses and we create a course for them that will help them get the credit they need and get out and have a different variety of resources met. They, we needed to do something different with these kids because clearly the traditional classroom wasn't cutting it. I failed first semester, I think, of Litton Comp 200 my sophomore year. And uh, after that, I was like, mm, I could do this summer school, but I've heard Miss Horton starting a new program called Litton Comp Recovery where I can make these credits up and still be in class and not have to do the summer school. So I was like, oh, fantastic. I'll take advantage of that and best decision of my life. <laughs> Most classes, it's like she gets up there, the teacher, him or her, gets up in front of the class, lectures, slideshow, whatever it happens to be. Whereas Miss Horton will kind of introduce everybody, say, look, everybody should be on this or this, but I'll come around and she comes around the class and, what are you working on today, Ethan? You know what? I got vocab and I got grammar today. Awesome. How can I help you? And it's just so helpful to have the teacher, especially, uh, just right there to help you for everything. I would say the struggles that we face are just planning and sometimes lack of resources or lack of funding. We're trying to create an alternative program inside a traditional school setting and sometimes that can have a lot of barriers because Ms. Horton is still a traditional teacher as well. She's doing both. So I think that's a barrier that she's actually crushed because the amount of work she has is actually pretty large because she's teaching so many different classes realistically. She's doing alternative education. She's doing staffed classes for students that need extra credit recovery. Plus, she's teaching a regular Lit 100 class. So I think that's a barrier that could have definitely stopped us from being able to do this, but she didn't really, she was not stopped by it. I spent all last we week uh, going around every single student and asking them what book do they want to read within certain parameters. And then I sat down and, for example, I had independent American authors who these kids wanted that, so I created assignments associated with each of those books. So I have a Mice and Men, I've got The Hobbit, I have The Outsiders, Night. That's just for one group of kids that, that are at 100 level. That's not even counting the other classes and, and what I have for them. So it, it takes a tremendous amount of time to sit down and individually tailor a program for 40 kids. The struggles I've had is writing papers, and this class has helped me a lot. I've written so many new papers for my Lincoln class, and also I'm not very much at speaking in front of audiences, and this class has helped me a lot too. My, so my IEP is based on Lincoln comp, uh, so English and math, but this class has helped me reach my goal for my IEP, so my English IEP is going away next year, so I won't need any more help for English, so this class has helped me a lot with that. Man, I'd say <laughs> Miss Horton's program is a lifesaver. Uh, Miss Horton is a lifesaver herself. <laughs> uh, I mean, this class is just awesome. I don't know, she's, she goes so above and beyond for us. And I think it's so fantastic that she just 
put so much effort into this class. I think it's fantastic. I think if you would ask anybody why these kids are successful, and I hate to toot my own horn, but it's that personal relationship. I sit down and talk to them and care about them and they know that. And I think the relationship is why I'm so successful with these kids. Personal relationship, that's where it's at. If you don't have that personal relationship, forget it. You make my day better making, learning, fun, and exciting. Oh, I always love your class. I mean, these little things, I don't know, we don't, it's teaching, it's kind of sort of sometimes a very thankless job. And then these little things just, just get me through the day. It makes my day, it makes me keep going, it makes me, it reminds me why I do what I do. This is why I do what I do. These kids right here.